hello guys so let's solve this friction problem the 200 pound block shown has impending motion up the plane caused by the horizontal force of 400 pound determine the coefficient of friction between the contact surfaces so dito yung block down natin is uh, 200 pound and then Pag na apply natin to ng force na 400 pound horizontally, dito na magsisimulang mag-empend or magsimulang gumalaw ang ating block sa ating incline with the 30 degrees of inclination. So ang tanong, paano natin malalaman yung coefficient of friction? So first, kailangan muna natin ma-identify lahat ng mga forces na nag exert sa ating figure. Dito mayroon tayong normal force na uh, perpendicular sa ating incline. So let N is our normal force. And then, kapag uh, nag-impend na itong box, yung frictional force natin is uh, approaching opposite to its motion. So, halimbawa, yung motion ng block natin is going upward, which is stated naman sa ating problem kasi nag-impend siya pataas. Then, yung frictional force natin must be going opposite of its motion. So, ito yung frictional force natin. And again, although yung force applied natin is horizontal, yung frictional force natin is always parallel sa ating incline. Tandaan nyo guys na kahit yung force applied natin is not parallel sa ating uh, inclination, yung force of friction naman natin is always parallel sa ating surface. So kahit horizontal yung force applied natin, hindi ibig sabihin na yung friction is horizontal din. No, mali yan. Kasi yung friction natin is nakadepende sa surface ng ating uh, problem. So dito, yung surface ng problem natin is inclined. Therefore, yung force of friction natin is parallel sa incline, whether upward or downward. So dito, uh, since yung uh, box is again nag e pen pataas, yung force of friction natin must be uh, going downward of the inclination. Then, sulat natin yung free body diagram. Now, ito na yung free body diagram natin. So, yung Y ko is in ko na equal sa normal force. And then, yung X natin is yung inclined plane natin. And then, uh, narotate ko lang ito para simply natin maintindihan. Now, bakit yung 200 naging 30 degrees? So, ito yan. 30 degrees siya with respect sa ating Y axis. So, katulad nito, 30 degrees din siya. And then, yung 400 natin is kapag i-direction natin yan dito, is magiging ganyan yan. So, dito, yung X natin is yung incline. So, pareho lang dito, incline. So, yung 400 natin is 30 degrees below the X axis. So, katulad din ito. And then, pwede na tayo mag-focus sa dito free body diagram para hindi na tayo malito since uh, accurate naman yung ating pag-translate. Now, yung problem natin is to find the value of mu or the coefficient of friction. And pwede natin yan makuha coming from the formula of frictional force is equals to mu times n. So ito, n to ha. Since sa ating free body diagram, dyan mo makikita yung inahanap natin sa formula which is frictional force at n. Then we can easily solve the value of mu. However, kailangan muna natin malaman yung value ng n at frictional force before solving sa mu. So, solve for unahin natin yung normal force. So, para masolve ang normal force, we can use summation f of y equals 0. So, yung going up is positive at yung going down is negative. So, n minus 200 y component cosine 30. Then, also minus 400 sine 30. Then, equals 0. So, yung n natin is equals to 300 73.21 pound. So, ito na yung isa sa ating hinahanap. Now, yung problem na lang natin is to find the value of frictional force. So, let's solve, solve for frictional force. Para masolve ang frictional force, kailangan na natin mag-sum sa horizontal. Then, uh, yung right side is positive. So, 400. Yung x component niya is cosine 30. Then, minus frictional force minus 200 yung x component sine 30 that is all equals to 0 so i-move natin yung frictional force para maging positive then simplify natin to is equals to 246.41 pound and since may value na tayo ng frictional force at normal force pwede na natin masolve yung uh, coefficient of friction so, sa formula coefficient of friction is equals to frictional force over n. So,
so substitute natin yung value the frictional force natin is 246.41 over normal force na 373.21 yung mu natin o yung coefficient of friction is 0 0.66 so ito na yung ating answer sa problem so ibig sabihin tumula ka yung force na ginamit mo is 400 pound and it is horizontally and yung box na tinutulak mo ay may force din na 200 pound and then basically yung coefficient of friction pala nito is actually 0.66 so dyan na magsisimulang gagalaw yung ating box pataas